वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सिक्स डैश नाइन्टी सेवन सो स्टेटमेंट इज अ लॉग दैट इज टू फीट इन डायमीटर इज टू बी कट इन टू आर रेक्टेंगुलर सेक्शन फॉर यूज एज ए सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम इफ एलावेबल बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस ऑफ द वुड इज एट के एस आई डिटरमाइन द लार्जेस्ट लोड पी दैट कैन बी सपोर्टेड इफ विथ ऑफ द बीम इज एट इंच सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अ circular log having diameter is equal to 2 feet and that has to be cut into a rectangular section that will be used in as a simply supported beam the load p is applied clear so you have to determine this largest load p that can be applied on this wood having allowable stress is 8 ksi so let's start with the solution now you can see that this is the diameter of the beam and this is breadth and this is height so by using pythagoras theorem we have h square is equal to uh, sorry h square plus b square height square plus b square is equal to this diameter which is 24 inch this is 2 feet so here diameter in inch is 24 inch so uh, what i will do is that uh, this 24 square so 20 uh, h square is equal to 24 square minus 8 square so when you solve this you will get h is equal to 22.63 inch now you have height breadth is given as 8 inch and height is 22.63 inch so what we will do is that if you remove this support so definitely you will have a reaction force let this is r1 and if you remove this support so there will be a reaction force that is r2 we are going to find out the largest moment that can be applied because we have allowable stress is equal to maximum moment into c divided by i so we do not have maximum moment so we will find the maximum moment by using shear force and bending moment diagram so for that we will need r1 and r2 so this is very simple r1 and r2 will be equal to p by 2 but we will solve it by using equilibrium conditions the first equilibrium condition that sum of all moment let this is point 1 and this is point 2 so sum of all moment about uh, point 1 is equal to 0 taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so moment about this point 1 is due to r2 into perpendicular distance is 16 feet clear so i and that is counter clockwise so it will be positive so i will write uh, r2 into 16 and that will be counter clockwise will be positive the second moment is due to this p load and the perpendicular distance is this one which is clockwise producing clockwise moment so it will be negative so minus 8p minus 8p is equal to 0 so 16 r2 is equal to 8p so again r2 will be equal to p by 2 okay now we will find r1 by using another equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and taking the upward force as positive so three forces r1 minus p plus r2 is equal to 0 so r1 minus p plus r2 which is p by 2 is equal to 0 so from here you will also have r1 will be equal to p by 2 now you have both r1 and r2 in term of p by 2 so you can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram simply you if you take the vertical line from the end of this beam and there is a horizontal line which will show the x is in feet and there is a shear force so at point 1 we have r1 which is equal to p divided by 2 so let each division is p by 2 for example this is p by 2 so this will be minus p by 2 and this will be p so at point 1 we have p by 2 clear and moving from point 1 till this p there is no load so it will remain same it will remain same till this point 
okay now you can see you have a load of minus p so p by 2 minus p will be equal to minus p by 2 so shear force will change from this to this point okay the division at one division was p by 2 so this is p minus p so shear force will change from this till this point again moving from this point till this there is no other force so shear force will remain same it will be horizontal and at this point this is minus p by 2 this is plus p by 2 now you can see at this end we have plus r2 which is equal to p by 2 so minus p by 2 plus p by 2 will give you 0 so shear force will add there will be this one 0 now we will draw the bending moment diagram so if i draw the bending moment diagram again x will be in feet and the unit moment unit will be if p is in pound so it will be pound into feet now the first area under the shear force diagram is this one and this area is equal to p by 2 into total length is 8 feet so that will give you 4p clear so let each division is 2p you can choose your own scale as well this is minus 2p minus 4p so at this point we have uh, 4p and since this shear force is a horizontal line with zero degrees so bending moment will be one degree higher and it will be a straight line so we will get it like this this is 4p now the second area is this one and this area is minus p divided by 2 multiplied by 8 is equal to minus 4p so plus 4p minus 4p will give you zero at this point so this the bending moment will be this one the sol slope will be decreasing and it will be a first degree equation because you can see that the shear force is a horizontal line now from here you can see that mm, from bending moment diagram from bending moment diagram you can see the absolute maximum bending moment is equal to 4p and the unit will be in pound into feet so if you want to convert it into inch so 4p multiplied by 1 feet is 12 inch so unit will be equal to pound into inch and that will be equal to 48p pound into inch why we have converted this into pound into inch because we have been given the stress is 8 ksi which is 8 into 10 raised to power 8 into 10 raised to power 3 psi and psi mean pound per square inch so you have to convert it into inch now the question is very simple we have allowable bending stress is equal to maximum movement into c divided by i so for rectangular cross section we have breadth is given as 8 inch and height is that we have calculated above is equal to 22.63 inch so what will be the c so if you take the half of this so neutral axis this is your neutral axis and this will be your c and this c will be equal to 22.63 divided by this will be your c c is distant from neutral axis till topmost layer okay what about i so i for rectangular cross section is equal to 1 over 12 base which is 8 and height is 22.63 and the height q okay so you have now all these values you can just put it you have allowable bending stress is 8 ksi so 8 into 10 to the power 3 is equal to maximum movement is 48 p multiply by c is 22.63 divided by 2 divided by i and i is 1 over 12 8 into height which is 22.63 cube okay so when you solve this definitely it's very easy you will get p is equal to 114 
Gips. So this was all about our problem 6.97. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you are learning as well. Those who are new to my channel, then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Also do comment in the section so that I may know about your feedback. Thank you for watching.